It is very muggy out today. What's up everyone? Welcome back for another video. If you, well, if you're already subscribed, welcome back for another video. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me on this video. Let's get into, um, let's get into it. A little blurry. So anyone that might be new here, just clicking in for this specific video. Um, I do have a 240SX with the RB25 swap. We have a 190E that we're doing a wide body kit on. So if you like those cars at all, hit that subscribe button. But the main topic for today is this Colorado ZR2 back there. So I'm actually not sure at the moment what I'm going to title this video if it's or if it's what I'm going to title this video if it's going to be things I hate or just minor annoyances or whatever. Um, but you'll know already because you clicked into the video. But we're going to go over a few things with this uh, Chevy Colorado 2020, this 2020 Chevy Colorado ZR2 that kind of annoy me, but they're not deal breakers if you're considering buying one of these trucks. I don't know how I'm just like going to do these off the top of my head, so I don't know how many we're going to get. But I'm gonna shoot for five. So let's start with number one, which is inside the truck. Well, a couple of them are inside the truck. Let's turn it on. All right, if you, it's a little, it shouldn't be too windy because I do have one of those little like sock rabbit foot things, whatever the hell you want to call it on the microphone. But if it is, I'm sorry. It's very hot out and this car is even hotter than that, so I have the air conditioner on. But let's get into it. There's, um, off the top of my head, in the car, there's three things that bother me. So let's go with number one. Number one is these knobs right here. So the fan speed and the temperature control on the HVAC system. So um, I did have a 2018 Colorado Z71 and I had the same issue so it's not just this truck but if you watch so watch these knobs um, it doesn't do it all the time but most of the time there you go you heard how many clicks and it only went up three degrees there you go how many clicks three degrees so like I said, it doesn't happen all the time, but it does it with the fan also, that when you turn the knob, sometimes it'll click like a hundred times and it'll go up like two degrees. Um, those knobs, a little touchy, not a big deal. That's number one uh, major slash, that's number one annoyance. Number two things I hate slash that annoy me in this truck are, um, not are, is the radio system. Uh, the, the whole radio system, it's, I mean, the, the system itself is fine, this whole touchscreen, everything works on it, uh, no problem. But uh, one thing that annoys me is when you're on the radio station, when, because most of the time I'll be in Apple CarPlay, consider it like that, pretend you have the screen. Radio is on, there's no buttons down here with your presets of your radio. So sometimes it's nice where you just want to change your radio station, just hit a button, hit a button, hit a button, change your radio stations. There's none of those, um, you can switch it on your steering wheel you hit the buttons it changes to your presets one preset ones that you have but like i said silly minor annoyance most most people won't even worry about that but one thing that kind of annoys me minor minorly this one is seems completely ridiculous this is a like i said once again this is a 2020 truck and it did have the problem on my 2018 this is a regular iPhone uh, 12 Pro, I guess. Here's the wireless charger. Doesn't fit. Doesn't. I mean, you could make it jam in there and fit. But if you look at it, this is one of the slimmest cases. This is one of the slimmest cases I could possibly find. And it doesn't really fit in there. It's completely ridiculous minor very minor thing once again a lot of these are just gonna be very like nitpicky minor things these are none of these are like deal breakers on this truck I love this truck we get I think we get six out of this I'm, no, I'm thinking about it. so the next I think there's number four I think we're up to number four so is the headlights They're the headlights I believe the lower models have a different headlight but the Z 71 might have the same headlight like this well, it doesn't really matter that headlights suck either way Either way you look at it, the headlights suck. It's a, I'm gonna say it again, it's a 2020 model and you basically have to upgrade the bulbs to LEDs and then there's, it's, the LED is like 10 times better and the LED still doesn't even, 
make it like amazing. So it might just be something with the headlight design that it doesn't project as much. A little annoyance. That's why I added some extra lights to the front. Let me show you those. Um, these lights we actually don't care. We don't use that often. But these lights down here, those were actually on the sport bar that came with the truck and I moved them down to there. So when it's really dark out, I throw those on. Moving along, we got four out of the way. This is number five. We're gonna, five and then number six will be like a major annoyance. So let's do number five and then we'll move on. So number five. This. No step. So I understand this is the ZR2 and they removed the little step there. I guess to give you better clearance angles when you're coming off like a rock, when you're rock crawling or doing any type of off-roading. But the other one came out right here. Wasn't that, I don't think it would have been that big of a deal to leave it on there, but what do I know? I'm not a designer. Um, it was right there to make it easier. Make it easier, just give yourself a step there. Wasn't ridiculous, you can get your foot like right there. Don't mind the Crocs. To, uh, get up into the bed had it on the z71 it was a nice touch it was something I always liked about that truck that was like one thing like was extra nice about that truck now it's gone a little annoying that it's not there but I could deal with it I am tall so it makes it a little easier to get in but if you were shorter that step would be very nice for you I mean, that's five minor annoyances with this truck my 2018 and my 2020 all have these same problems with the exception of that step in the back obviously but this last one that I'm gonna give you on this Colorado ZR2 specifically, it could be a deal breaker for you. It wasn't for me. Actually, let me go back on that one. I didn't know about this issue when I bought the truck because I never really looked into it. I just really wanted the ZR2 and there were really no other trucks midsize at the time, even now, that I would rather have instead of this. The only other one would be like a Tacoma, T, uh, Tacoma TRD Pro, but inside it sat a little weird for me. I don't know if it's because I'm tall, but I didn't like the seating the seating orientation, so um, ZR2 was for me. I didn't know about this problem, which is not that big of a problem for me, a little bit. I don't mind it as much. So the problem is this whole front right here. So most of this is really only if you plan on lifting your truck. If you're leaving it in stock, you're not gonna have any problem with this, but uh, I got you in here just to see everything that's going on, but I originally did a suspension, it was from peak suspension, this isn't it. It was from peak suspension to just level the truck out and then I went a little more than level, but actually leveled it out. And then that's when your problem starts. So leveling the truck out, you can get lucky, but uh, the stock upper control arms on this truck, once you level your truck out, it puts it at a more of an angle than it was designed for, I guess. And you start getting pop noises in the popping and creaking in your ball joints on the end of your uh, lower control arms. So that leaves us the, that leads us to the first problem is you need to upgrade your control arm. So I went with this is the peak suspension upper control arm. They have this one has I think it's the uniball. They have one with a different setup, but at the time they didn't have any more in stock, and I was kind of in a rush to get these. So I went with these. Well, I had a problem, and a bunch of other people have problems with the stock suspension. That after you lift it and whatnot, even some people with stock ones, um, their stock struts leak and there's no way to rebuild it, so you either have to warranty, hopefully get it warranty to brand new one, or buy a new one, or upgrade. So I upgraded to Kings. Then there's another problem with that, when you lift your truck too high, I guess it would be too high, because then if, if it wasn't too high, you wouldn't have these problems. But when you lift the, your truck too high, you could tear your CV boots. So then you have grease all over the inside of your wheel well, and you gotta change those, and it's pretty annoying to change those, but, they do sell upgraded ones, and when you upgrade it, you don't have the problem anymore. So like I said with that one, if you're leaving your truck pretty stock, that's something you're not gonna have to worry about, but for me, I had to worry about it because of course I gotta touch everything and ran into some issues, had to do some upgrading. So now the front is pretty upgraded, I guess. I, I don't know how much more you could do other than get bigger axles, but we don't have to get, we're not getting bigger axles because we don't do any crazy off-roading right now. It's very, very minimal. Um, other issue you run into with that little front section is the wheel well. I'll show it to you again, but this is really front and rear. You see how it's a uh, kind of squared off both sides. Both, both of them. So when you, a lot of aftermarket wheels are zero offset, which is gonna push it further out from the car. 
So right now you're pretty flush. I think they're like plus 33 or something like that stock. When you get aftermarket, most of them are, are zero. It pushes out. And then when you want to upgrade your tires from this 31 inch tire, upgrade to at least a 33, you start rubbing in places. So um, they sell a fender trimming kit and you got to like trim a little bit off right there because on full lock, I think really only when you're off-roading, you'll touch right there. It's already pretty close as is, but annoyance. So that sixth one was pretty much a bonus because that's a little bit more than an annoyance. If you do, if you could, if you work on your cars yourself, it's not that big of a deal, but if you pay for someone else to do your installs and stuff like that, that's even more money you have to factor into it. So it is what it is. It's not, it's not, I guess, that big of a deal, but if you're leaving it stock, it's no deal at all. It's not even a, not even a conversation at all. Th that's it. That's five plus that's six annoyances with this car. None are really deal breakers for me. I mean, the last one, like I said, could be a deal breaker for you, but it wasn't for me. These are just a couple things I noticed. So if you have a Colorado ZR2 or even uh, other models, Z71, the LT and all that stuff, and you have something that really annoys you, leave it down below, leave it in the comments below. But other than that, if you, uh, if you want to follow along with anything on here, we have the, there's a box, there's boxes over there with new wheels for the truck, finally. I have new tires coming that should be in two weeks from now. And I just got the fender trimming kit, actually, the one we were just talking about. That just came in the mail, so we're gonna be doing that one soon. So if you're looking forward to any of that, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in JDM cars, we have a 240SX right there. And if you're interested in Euro cars, we have a 190E right there, which we're doing an Evo 2 body kit on right now. Body kit we have, fitment is horrible, but we might try to make it work. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Come back for more. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out and do off-road stuff.